What's up everyone, it's Muhammad from Product Feedback and we've got a awesome Acer Iconia tab unboxing. This is uh, my entry into the tablet range. So we're going to be checking it out to see how well it stacks up onto the other tablets available and uh, we'll definitely have a review of it coming but this is the unboxing. So as you can see we're just ripping off the packaging at the moment. This Iconia tab is the 32 gigabyte model so it's uh, one of the highest ones you can get and it does also have the option for 3G data it uses Android as the operating system and it uses the new Nvidia Tegra 2 processor opening it up you can see it's got a nice large screen it's not that heavy to be honest I found it to be quite a reasonable weight you also get some paperwork on the inside as well as a nice notebook cleaning cloth so Ace actually calls it a notebook cleaning cloth that's, uh, that's pretty funny anyway inside you actually get a uh, proprietary USB cable which is unfortunate but that's just the way they do it you also get the power cable which is to recharge the device in this case being the Australian model I get the Australian adapter and that's the adapter there which will just hook up into that on the other side we've got the Acer Iconia manual and just some other bits and pieces but no need to read that if you're not sure how to use it maybe have a quick look so looking at the tablet itself uh, it has the options of so 3G as mentioned before it uses Dolby Digital Surround Sound you can hook it up to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS it does have a 5 megapixel uh, camera on the back and also has a camera on the front which is a 2 megapixel front facing camera uh, as you can see, we're just peeling off the packaging at the moment. Comes comes nicely packaged up. Feels like a premium product. Um, being that it's got the um, SIM card option for the 3G, the paperwork is just saying that you've got to pull out that little adapter at the top to fit in your micro SD card as well as your SIM card to use the uh, wireless. Looking on the side, you've got the volume rocker, which is up and down, as well as I believe this to be the orientation lock. And this is that thing which you open up to insert the micro SD to expand your memory if you want more than 32 gig, as well as popping your normal SIM card inside. And pretty much nothing else, just a nice, uh, nice looking unit. On the other side, we got the um, USB port as well as a normal USB in, so that means you can actually plug in like a hard drive and whatnot, as well as the power adapter there. On the bottom, we've got pretty much nothing, just as a standard connection that Acer uses, so it's proprietary and on the other side we've got the HDMI port, headphone jack as well as the power for on and off. Just looking around the back, that's the 5 megapixel it's got a little LED flash there, it's actually autofocus so it uh, should be a pretty decent camera and on the bottom we just got a few, I believe that to be a speaker grill and that's about it. Turning the device on for the first time you are presented with the Acer logo and it takes a little while to turn on for the first time but not be worried after the first boot it does turn on a little bit quicker as you can see it's powered by Android which is uh, developed by Google just starting it up you got to put in the normal things like your username and your Wi-Fi setup and everything like this set the time as you can see the screens quite responsive I didn't find it to lag or anything like that but once set up you're pretty much welcome to the Android home screen it's uh, quite a nice experience to be honest the touch screen works very well I don't have any issues playing around with it so far. We're just loading up the Chrome browser at the moment and we'll check out Product Feedback's website. If you didn't know, we do actually have a website. It's productfeedback.com.au. So if you're interested, check it out because we do have written reviews on products that we don't do videos on our channel. So if you're interested in that, go have a look. Our site usually is pretty quick to load and hopefully it will pop up pretty soon right about now. Yeah, so pretty much similar speed to what it will take on a normal computer and it's already done. Scrolling up and down is pretty fluid. Uh, pinching and zooming works well. There's no uh, pixelating or anything like that. Everything seems quite responsive, which is a, a very good um, thing to see. Obviously, you've got multitasking, which is that little thing which we just hit on, as well as applications that come with the actual device. Now, you can download heaps of other things to play around with. But we're just checking out the default stuff at the moment before the full review comes. This is the actual YouTube browser. Uh, we're going to search up our website. We're just letting it load for the first time, so that's why I kind of 
didn't work too well, but once it loaded up the first time, every other time it worked very well. Product feedback, we're searching it out just to see what it comes with. As you can see when typing on there, the keyboard's actually very nice. The keyboard didn't didn't seem to accidentally click on anything else and the buttons were actually quite accurate. So if you tapped on say K, you'll we'll hit K. And overall for searching around on the actual device, it's pretty quick, pretty fluid. There's no complaints about that. So my name's Muhammad. This is the Acer Iconia Tab unboxing. If you enjoyed, please check out our channel and subscribe for more. Peace. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed. Thank you.